Let's go to a listener uh, voicemail from one of our listeners that came in earlier this week. Oh, hi. This is Ophelia. And my question is this. In Hebrews 4, 14 to 16, it says that Jesus prays for us. So my question is, in what sense does he pray for us? I pray to the Lord Jesus Christ, you know. So uh, I just want some explanation on that. Like, in what sense does Jesus pray for us? Thank you. Ophelia, I love um, this question. And what a... I mean, what an amazing thing for us to just to consider for a moment that Jesus, the eternal Son of God, is praying for his people. In heaven, at the right hand of the Father, that he is making intercession. The, the passage that you refer to in the book of Hebrews chapter 4 is talking about Christ's priestly ministry, the fact that he is able to sympathize with us, um, that he was without sin, tempted in, in all ways like us, but without sin. And because he's our, our high priest, Ophelia, the author of the Hebrews says we can draw near with confidence to the throne of grace because we have Jesus as our mediator. Now, specifically, you know, the author of the Hebrews says that Jesus is praying for us in chapter 7. In chapter 7, it says in verse 25, consequently, he is able to save to the uttermost those who draw near to God through him, since he always lives to make intercession for them. That is, those who draw near to God the Father, to his throne of grace, uh, through Jesus. Christ is making intercession. He is praying for us. Um, and, and in the context there, it seems like one of the one of the things that Jesus is praying for is our sanctification, is for our, our salvation, our, our growth in grace, approaching God the Father. It's our redemption. I mean, and that's really what, what the author of the Hebrews says. He's able to save to the uttermost those who draw near to God. And what, what an encouragement that is for each of us. By the way, we see this in other places of the New Testament as, as well, this, this truth that Christ is praying for us in the book of Romans. In Romans uh, chapter 8, verse 34, listen to what the Apostle Paul said there. Romans chapter 8, verse 34. Um, who is to condemn? Christ Jesus is the one who died, and more than that, who was raised, who is at the right hand of God, who indeed is interceding for us. But, I mean, I, I just, I just love this. I mean, I, I don't know about you, but I've had people in my life, you know, godly people that I look look up to, and when they say, "Hey, uh, I'm I'm praying for you," it means so much to me. It, I mean, it, it's just like, wow, to know I have, you know, uh, this this wonderful saintly woman or, or man, you know, uh, bringing my name before the Lord, you know, in in their prayer closet. I just, I just think, praise God, I'm so grateful for that. Well, do you know, Christian, that Jesus? the holy, righteous Son of God prays for you, for your sanctification, for your growth in grace, for your protection from the evil one. You think about the, the, the conversation that Jesus had with Peter in Luke chapter 22, verse 32, where he says, you know, Satan has desired to, to sift you. Satan wants to, to take you out, Peter, but I have prayed for you. And, and that's what Jesus is doing right now for his people, for you, Ophelia, if you, if you believe in him. And so we give thanks to God for that, that we have Jesus, this wonderful, amazing high priest, through whom we have access to God's throne of grace uh, and this promise that he's praying for us right now, even, even today. And so give him thanks for that.